tell you that I love you. One hundred times a day. Day two begins. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you. Almost one and a half hours of riding, uh, we reached Lansdowne and we finally found a hotel. This hotel, as I will mention in the vlog, is the same hotel that I used uh, the last time I came to Lansdowne. Uh, it's called Lands Blue, and it's a pretty decent hotel. You know, uh, they charge around thousand to thousand five hundred per night, depending on how you bargain. The rooms are pretty decent, so I didn't have to think much. You know, because I already knew what I was going to get. Once that was finalized, the next step was uh, well, food. You know, because food is important. Which reminds me, I should eat something. So while I grab something to eat and make sure that my muscles don't eat themselves, you carry on. I should think of a catchphrase. to be the same hotel that I came to back in 2017 with my friend Tarpan. I'm really hungry. I'll go now and find a restaurant, eat something. And I think I know the restaurant that I'll go to. Look at that hair. <laughs> at least my bicep is all right. So, at this moment, we had uh, reached Lansdowne, checked in, paid the hotel guy, and I had a restaurant in my mind which I wanted to visit. And something unfortunate happened, and it saddened me a lot. You know, it was closed. Now, why it was closed? At that moment, I thought that due to the COVID pandemic, many businesses suffered and uh, the same happened to that restaurant and it closed you know it was the obvious uh, assumption uh, but later on i found out that my assumption was wrong there was a new regulation which i'll explain in the vlog or maybe not i did i explain it so we walked further into the market and we found this restaurant uh, named the i guess northern flavors the ambience was okay you know it was a small time restaurant uh, the people were nice unfortunately they had no non vegetarian food so we had to uh, settle for paneer again anyway let's continue 
How is the taste? Come on, spill it out. Here, seriously, what the hell? So we just found this uh, new face drink, which I've never seen in Delhi, and my brother says that it tastes like beer. So we had our food. It was okay. It was okay. Again, we had paneer. I promised myself that I won't have paneer for the rest of the trip, but I had paneer once again because they didn't have chicken. The restaurant didn't have chicken. Uh, right now we are just strolling down uh, the roads of Lansdowne and checking out, you know, this offbeat place. Kya hua? So this place we are at right now. The last time I visited, I did not come to this place because, because last time uh, my friend and I we just uh, wandered around the uh, upper part of Lansdowne, the lake. There's a lake, by the way, and then there is you know the famous uh, Tip and Top, from where I saw the supposedly the Milky Way, but my brother here does not agree. Anyway, we'll see about that. Check this place out. What did you think about the food? Paneer. <laughs> Just say roll. Okay, action. Action. Yeah. Action. It's over. Over. What? Action. Check this sweet. Action. Did you press the play button? Uh, record button. Yeah. Action. Okay. So we were walking down the streets of Lansdowne, and we just found this really cool place. There's actually nothing to show here. I'm just happy that we found it. It's so open for someone who lives in the city and has been in the city for the entirety of his life. Something like this is. Nothing less than fantastic. I can like sit here the whole day and do absolutely nothing and still be okay with it. The moment you enter Lansdowne, uh, you will notice a few things that make it different from any other hill station. First of all, the Aram se gherman jayo. Please take care. Seriously, one specific thing that you'll notice when you come to Lansdowne is that the abundance of army over here, which is natural because it's a canned area. I think I stepped on gober. The air here is so clean. I mean, I regret not bringing my running shoes here. I was thinking to bring them, but then there was no space in my bag. Since I got this guy with me, he has his stuff too. I want to run here. I want to run. I want to sprint. I want to jog, uphill, downhill, whatever. Another thing I've noticed here is that the cows here are very short. They are practically midgets. I think I found weed. It's not weed. Okay, I was taking some B-roll. This bull just came here. Now we are thinking of just going away because he's looking at us. That bull just drove us away. Is he following us? I think so. And there's a pipe there. I want to take that in my B-roll, so I'll take that. This is basically the place I came here to have uh, lunch at. This is also the place that I visited last time for basically every meal I ever had in Lansdowne. But due to some reasons, it's closed. Uh, I've asked some people, and they say that it's because of the new guidelines. That uh, I don't know some guidelines. I don't know what the hell happened to Lansdowne. It's so cold. It's extremely cold. I got out from this. Blanket, and I didn't realize that it was so cold. So cozy in this blanket, and warm. I peed and I washed my hands, and now my hands are numb. After this, uh, we'll be going to eat, have dinner, which I'm actually really doubtful that uh, restaurants will be open at 8:45. It's already nine, so I'm not sure if, uh, if any restaurants will be open. But uh, we'll go and have a look. I really hope they have food for us. 
I think one of the most uh, underappreciated things about hill stations is the night time. In some ways it is risky and you know, a little scary. But in a place like Lansdowne especially, it's, it's, it feels safer, you know. If you go there, you don't have anything to do there. Oh shit, the market is closed. The entire place is, like it looks deserted, shut. I think it's going to be a good thing. So that was Lansdowne day one. We finally found the restaurant. Uh, it was the same restaurant that we had our lunch at. Once again, vegetarian. After that, we decided that we will stay in Lansdowne for one more day because astrophotography at Dip and Top, which was like the one of the main reasons I chose Lansdowne for this chill out vacation sort of thing. I actually thought I would be able to cram everything into one video but I think it won't be possible so I'll be making another video it would be injustice for all that content I made if I cram everything up in one video so I'll be making another video make sure you check it out I'm learning I'm growing it's it's been a good journey so far uh, a great learning curve everything I do is self-taught I mean I'm making YouTube videos for YouTube from YouTube that's something so I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Peace.